this video is about the woman who made a video where she speaks about her adopting the mindset of a Gen Z individual regarding jobs, if that made any sense, right? She adopt the way Gen Z people live their lives when it comes to working or, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna speak about that in this video, but real quick, please excuse the mess you see here around me, paint and stuff everywhere. My wife and I just got this, this space for our business. We're moving from one location to this one. So obviously we're painting, we're trying to get everything together. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, but um, yeah, we're excited about this space. Way bigger so we can, you know, start hiring some more people and um, it's gonna be awesome. So, um, also let me introduce myself finally. My name is Ario DeJuiced from WokeNations.com. Definitely make sure you're part of the email list. I encourage that if you are into the content on this channel, if you like it, I encourage you to join the email list. Also, another reason to join is to avoid losing contact with this channel or podcast. It's also a podcast. If it goes away by YouTube, if they just decide to terminate it, we lose contact. But if you're a part of the email list, this is not possible. So do that if that's what you want to do. I'll leave the, um, the URL or link of the website in the box below this video. And that's where the email list is available in the website. Um, last but not least, real quick um, shout out to our sponsor for this video. Um, much love, big, big love <laughs> to our friends and supporters at CourseCareers.com, which is an online training program helping a lot of people, myself included, land a job in tech. These jobs in tech are earning between 50,000 to six figures plus working in engineering support management sales this is still possible if interested more information about course careers course careers also in the box below with everything else that i just mentioned and you're all set so let's keep talking finally i agree with her 100 percent. okay she made multiple comments where she's basically discussing the mindset of a typical gen z individual they are basically into being entrepreneurs, not slaving at a job, just doing for their own, right? Doing something different in terms of becoming their own boss. And I agree with it. That's really what she's trying to say. She adopts that type of mentality, right? Um, becoming your own boss. And I agree with it. That's what I'm doing right now with my wife, literally. Um, it feels great. It feels, it feels awesome running your own thing, right? It's a lot of work, but that's a different discussion. The point is, it's a great idea. It, 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 is, it is a genius idea to start your own thing, your own business, and own back your time, basically, right? And the best part about running a business is that there's no cap. That's why we got this bigger space, just to keep making more money, basically. So our current space is cool, but it's just too small. We kind of outgrew it. We're getting more you know, business, so we need a bigger space, obviously. So there's no cap, but that's different. That's a different discussion. She's trying to just say most Gen Z people are basically not lazy, okay? And speaking on lazy or just that term, to all the people who have this silly mindset that all Gen Z people are just lazy people who live with their parents, they're always at Starbucks and not wanting to work and you know be bums. Anyone, okay? Anybody who walks around thinking this silly mindset, not mindset, but this silly um, idea that this is something valid. If you really believe gen all Gen Z people are just a bunch of lazy scumbags, you're just not a smart person. And I'll just say flat out, you're just dumb. You're just a dumb person if you really believe this is what's going on. It, now, I'm sure there's some lazy Gen Z people that does exist or that do exist, just like there's lazy people who are baby boomers, millennials, Gen Z, Gen X. Everyone's lazy, right? Every so-called group has lazy people. I don't think they're lazy because of, of the, of the you know, specific time they were born in that makes them lazy or successful. It's all about your character. It's, it's really all about your character, and that's it. That's just what it is at the end of the day. You as a person, um, you just have a different goal, and you want to accomplish it whomever you are, and that's just what it is. But um, yeah, her wanting to adopt that mindset from a Gen Z person, I totally get it, right? Most Gen Z people, um, not all obviously, but most of them are great at social media in terms of using you know, those, those platforms as tools 
to start their own business. This is genius. That, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yo, it feels great having multiple streams of income. It feels awesome. Again, I work in IT. I have a full-time job. I have a profession. I also run a small business with my wife. I also have different YouTube channels that are monetized. I have a paid... It feels great. It's a smart idea. And if that's adopting the Gen Z mindset, then so be it. I'm all for it. That's exactly what I'm doing too. It, it, it's a great idea. But this is, this is something that people have to start realizing in today's world. You have to take advantage of the new tools that are, that are available to us, right? I'm not saying quit your job. I'm not saying that at all. Why not keep, why, why not do both, right? Why not have your profession, your job, or your career and have a small business. Why not have multiple streams of income? That, it, that, that, that makes a bunch of sense, right? It makes a lot of sense. Cause again, a business has no cap. So for someone deciding to start a YouTube channel or a TikTok and they're selling something, a service or some type of good, I'm all for it. It means you're just a responsible, smart person utilizing these tools we have today in our possession. I mean, especially if you're living here in a great USA, there's so much opportunity, it's not even funny. You don't have to keep doing the same old, same old, just getting a job. Not that I'm hating on jobs, because I have one. But if you're not looking to go that route, start to start a small business, right? And I say so, so, so lightly, but it's just getting to that mindset of how can I become my own boss? And this is possible in today's world by just using social media. And this is what a bunch of Gen Z people have figured out, right? And People who are baby boomers as well, millennials, Gen X, people are utilizing these tools. And that's just what they, that's what they are at the end of the day to me. YouTube is just a tool. It, it is a marketing tool to sell something. And literally, that's just what it is. Yo, my wife and I have a small business. We use Facebook mainly as our marketing engine. That's where all of our customers come from. We have obviously a Facebook profile for this business. And there's people around the area looking for piano lessons or you know voice lessons that's what we do here and surprisingly there's a freaking market like there's no tomorrow tomorrow for this type of business in this area people are signing up their children to take voice lessons piano lessons brass strings i'm all for it you know um but again just using the tools help this business of ours thrive take advantage we're not using any ads on the radio so-called newspaper if you know what that is you know um we're not, we're not running any ads on LinkedIn or Instagram. We're just literally posting content on Facebook for free. And people are finding our business through that platform. And it's been working wonders for us. Now, of course, there's some people who are speaking highly of our business as word of mouth to their, to their other friends or family. And that's how we gain their business. But for the most part, they found us online. Just get involved, man. Get involved in this new world where social media or the internet is a way to make money. And that's why this woman made that video. And I, I'm happy for her. I, I, I agree with her. I agree with anyone that thinks that way because that is, to me, a smart idea. Just take advantage. I mean, so much opportunity is not even funny. I mean, just do some research, man. I mean, just, just see what's going on and, 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 and figure out there's so many people changing their lives for the better because of social media. They're using it to build businesses. It's, it's, everyone lives on their smartphone. Like you right now watch me on your smartphone. I got your attention. This is where everyone lives now, right? The attention is there. A smartphone, the internet. So sell something. Um, if not, if you don't want to sell something, just put out some type of content that's going to benefit the next person for, for you know, that's it. Just put out content that's valuable for someone to consume and they gain value from it. And it benefits them in some kind of way, shape, or form. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not, I do apologize. But again, the video she put out, I, I get it. I get it 100%. Even there's a woman named um, Doey Dash. I think I heard her name correctly. Um, going viral. Doing fantastic. Making thousands of dollars per month using social media as a tool, putting out valuable content for people to consume and, you know, win basically. So whatever she's doing is helping other people win in life because of using this tool, the great social media, the internet. Yo, take advantage, man. I mean, that, that is really the takeaway of this video is take advantage.
there's opportunity, which is, you know, the, the, uh, the internet, the, the social media, um, it's free. <laughs> it's free to sign up to use these tools and put out content that's going to, you know, just give people value and start a business. Hope I'm making sense. Uh, let me get back to work. <laughs> I have a lot of work here. Obviously, again, it's, it's a mess up here. There's some stuff down there that we're trying to set up. It's, um, it is exciting, but yeah, this, this is all possible. This business, us finding, you know, uh, this space and making more money, this is possible because of social media. So take advantage, y'all, please. I'm not saying this is what you can have. Maybe you can have it, but my thing is just take that first step of putting out content and let people see and hear from you and just kind of give them value. And maybe whatever it is, if you're a 45-year-old man, a 50-year-old woman, this is the best time to put out content because you have experience in something that people are looking for. That makes any sense. You've worked your whole life. That is enough content to put out and let people see what you've done. Maybe that can help them in the long run. So hope it makes sense. Peace out. Much love to you. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.